If we cannot define art, then how can we be sure that something we appreciate as art is actually art? George Dickey, building on the work of Arthur Danto, brought forward the institutional theory as an aim to define art. The institutional theory defines art in two ways. One, something is a piece of art if it is an artifact, and two, on which some person or persons acting on behalf of a certain social institution, the art world, has conferred the status of candidate for appreciation. Okay. So point one, an artifact. Dickey explains that something is only classified as a piece of art once it is in an exhibition for others to view. Once it is on display, it is an artifact. I see. And the second point, for the art world to consider it a candidate for appreciation. Here Dickey means once other people with an interest in art start seeing the piece and appreciating it, then the piece becomes art. So it's almost like awareness and appreciation from peers in that field. Well, I do not think that this is a fair definition of art. Why not? Well, let's look at the first point. The idea that art can only be defined if it's an artifact or in an art institute seems to be extremely flawed. Paintings that are not in an art institute can still be appreciated as art and have the same aesthetically pleasing qualities as ones that are in a gallery. It would seem illogical to have the location of art as the defining factor. Oswald Hanfling raised this point. Suppose someone paints a picture or composes a piece of music or writes a poem and these are never exhibited or published. Would it mean that they are not works of art? Just because these pieces are not in an exhibition, it shouldn't be the deciding grounds as to whether they are classified as art. Surely, art should be about the item itself and not the location of where it's kept or displayed. Good point. As for the second part, the art world, surely it seems unreasonable to suggest that just because a piece of art is not appreciated publicly, it means that it does not qualify as art. What if I draw a lovely picture just for myself, a private picture, only I can see this, would this not be art? Well, you could say that you as the artist would be considered part of the art world, and as you are viewing the picture, then this would become art. Okay, but now you're raising even more problems. Who is classified as part of the art world? In what sense does such a person act on behalf of the art world, and how do we get that status? Hmm, interesting. But ultimately, the biggest flaw within the institutional theory is that its definition of art relies on the appreciation of the art from the art world, but without a specific definition of art. How can the art world appreciate art if there is no clear and distinct definition of it? As you said, you would need to know what art is in order to appreciate it. Good point. Okay, I'd like to move on and discuss beauty for a second. Many people appreciate art because of its beauty.